Hello, I'm Leanne Sherrod. I'm a speech-language pathologist and the President and Chief Clinical Officer here at Expressible. If your child seems to be behind in their speech and language development, but they're highly talented in other areas, they could be described as having something called Einstein syndrome. Are you intrigued by the name? Could your child really be the next Albert Einstein? While we all think our kiddos are the best and brightest as any parent does, Einstein syndrome isn't just about IQ. In Einstein syndrome, a child develops speech and language skills later than is typical, yet they're gifted in other areas, such as musical talent or analytical skills. The term Einstein syndrome was developed in 1993 by an American economist named Thomas Sowell. Sowell noted that while delayed speech can be a sign of a developmental condition, many children who are late talkers go on to thrive, leading highly successful lives. At a later time, Dr. Stephen Camarada, a respected clinician and professor at Vanderbilt University, began supporting the use of this term. It should be noted that Einstein syndrome is not a formal diagnosis. It doesn't exist in the DSM-5, which is used by healthcare professionals to diagnose mental disorders. There is no specific testing done for Einstein syndrome. It's more of a descriptive term for observations of a child's development and abilities. So what are the signs of Einstein syndrome? As we've mentioned, they can include late talking along with delayed potty training. Children with Einstein syndrome are often very strong-willed. They have early abilities in reading and understanding numbers, and they have selective, specific interests. They tend to have strong memory or technological skills, and they may be highly analytical or musically talented. If a child is late or delayed in speaking, it can be a good idea to have an evaluation with a speech therapist. There are a few speech and language related diagnoses that can look similar to Einstein syndrome, such as autism, childhood apraxia of speech, or hearing issues that contribute to problems with language development. Many parents wonder if their child has a speech delay or is simply a late bloomer. If you're concerned, set up some time with a licensed speech language pathologist. They can answer your questions and help you determine the best way to support your child.